Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Race Course, Grantville, Pennsylvania, on Wednesday evening, April the 29th. This is my day at the track.com race of the day. Take a look at race five tonight, folks, 7.49 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a six furlong sprint on the dirt track. Four year olds and uprace for an allowance prize of $29,500. Contenders number four, Starship Captain. The paired entry of number one, A Whispering Forest, and the stablemate number one, Pesky De Niro, on my list, along with number six, Moorestown Jackie, and number five, Seeker. Number four, Starship Captain, has produced power run performances in each of his last five outings, hitting the board in four, including back to back power run wins in his third and fourth races back. Jockey Chris Baker has been in his arms on two previous occasions, posting a win in a place back tonight in Cranville for ride number three. Number 1A Whispering Forest has also hit the board in four of his respective last five starts, winning twice, including a power run win in his third race back. The stable mate, number one, Pesky to De Niro, has hit the board in five straight, winning in his last adventure. However, kindly note that none of these board hit results met my criteria to be called a power run. Race 5 Summary, number 4, Starship Captain, tops my contenders list tonight here at 10 Nat, which also includes the paired entry of number 1A, Whispering Forest, and the stable mate, number 1, Pesky to De Niro, also on the list, number 6, Moorestown Jackie, and number 5, Seeker, 4165 in the 5th from Penn National. Wednesday Long Shots, Charlestown, Race 5, number 7, Poetry in Motion, a 12 to 1 bomb, takes a 4 level Trackmaster class drop, the overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at or about tonight's distance of four and a half furlongs on the dirt. Mountaineer Park, race two, the 12 to one bomb, number six, Odom. The overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt. So handicapping from Penn National on a Wednesday, Rick beat him for dayatthetrack.com. Remind you, as always, to please bet with your head, not over it.